Hi Virgo, the Awakened Dreamer here. To give you your mid-month money career tarot reading for the month of February 2022, so mid-February if you will. Thank you so much for joining me and I want to remind you as always this is general so just take what resonates and don't stress over what doesn't. But as well I want to thank you in advance for your likes uh, for this video, comments down below about your situation or some emojis and uh, as well if you haven't already do subscribe to this channel. Um, join this beautiful calm Virgo tribe, all right? Uh, as I struggle, bear with me. I also want to remind you to book a personal reading with myself. The options are down below. Just reach out via email and I'll definitely get that started for you, all right? Happy to do so. The overall message I channeled for you, Virgo, for this mid-month money and career read, you got a money-making machine, a money-making machine, all right? You're going to be very expressive in the second half of the month as well. But let's put this to the side. We're going to begin by pulling the beginning oracle card, oracle message, if you will, from the Soul's Journey deck. Let's do some shuffling. Interesting. There may be something about uh, you remembering a past failure when it comes to career or maybe a financial investment. But all the meanwhile, there's a push from Spirit and Universe to focus on being a service to others. Helping other people will fulfill you or just remind you of what you're made of or what you're meant to achieve in this lifetime, okay? And therefore, the money follows. Uh, okay, bear with me. Yeah, the failure card coming out again. It's like, okay, well, Virgo's not failing moving forward and needing to view certain um, uh, disappointments or endings as a blessing in disguise, a push towards bigger and better. As you're pushed to have an, um, an immense amount of courage to do what's right for you, to keep moving forward, regardless of certain obstacles that pop up in your way throughout the second half of February. But you're pushed to as well, um, except once again, that death is a positive thing at times when it comes to certain endings from the past, when it comes to uh, money situations, when it comes to uh, career situations. You may even find that a job isn't working out for you anymore, all right? And therefore, you're planning the ending of that situation or even a, an apartment or a house, something of the sort isn't healthy for you. It's changed over time or you've developed and grown so much that you've outgrown that situation. That could even go for your career uh, spot as well. I feel like you're planning certain adjustments or being pushed to by spirit in the universe to the point where um, you're reminded it's just time to upgrade, right? All the meanwhile, you're having an immense amount of pride exuding from you, right? It's coming, stemming from your pores, interestingly odd wording. But you're being reminded all the meanwhile that in the second half of February, you're a money-making machine and therefore you're going to feel very proud of that. You're very proud of all you've overcome, all you've uh, accomplished up until this point. Um, but it just feels as if you're reminded that um, you need to keep the passion alive as we do have a yellow and a um, fire color, sort of brownish, orange, red color. Bear with me as I feel like you're going to deal with certain distractions, noises that will put you on edge. Um, I feel like a level of annoyance does stem into your situation at certain points. But again, it's a reminder to move on to bigger and better or just to keep persevering, okay? Um, I feel very calm in your energy. Yeah, with the Eight of Cups and the Knight of Cups, uh, sorry, Knight of Wands, um, you could be feeling a little bit emotional underneath it all, but being pushed to keep doing it Virgo's way, to keep um, beating to that uh, calm, passionate drum, to remember that when you do it your way, when you persevere, while well, keeping an open ear, of course, you succeed, right? Um, to remember that walking away from an unhealthy situation or something that's too stressful is going to benefit you in the long run. I feel like you're reminded that you will still make an immense amount of money because of your perseverance, because of your determination, your hardworking way about you, even your peaceful nature. It almost, I don't want to say it doesn't matter where you make your money. It matters to, of course, um, on a soul level, but you can do it in another location if it's not working for you, or you can reside, live in a location that's healthier for you. It may even save you money to move to somewhere else. All right. 
for my lovely Virgos to continue. And so it's the second half of the month where you feel like you can't leave a situation just yet for one reason or another. Whether it's you feel you are obligated to stay or you feel as if there's a contract holding you from moving forward. You're just being uh, pushed to embrace what feels like an in-between stage or just to keep making that money, to keep succeeding, to keep showing people how it's done, to keep being a peaceful, um, strong example as the abundance flows in, the money flows in, in uh, hearing chunks, um, flow with the flow. Okay, interesting. Go with the flow as you sort of try to ride the waves of the ups and downs of the second half of February, as you allow for the abundance and multitude of forms at the very least in the form of money to come your way. When you are granted a level of abundance, don't second guess it. Don't allow someone to make you feel as if you didn't work for it because we know you did, even if it's coming from a different source, all right? It's the universe's way of saying you do what you have to. You keep your um, motivation alive and you just, you know, uh, keep that hard working ethic present and will provide you with abundance in multitude and multitude of forms. You even find that you're granted an opportunity to move forward in the following month or two um, to upgrade, okay, or to move towards something bigger and better for you. As I feel like with the Seven of Wands, a lot of people are requiring a lot from you in the second half of the month. A lot of obligations, a lot of people in your work environment or clientele. And it's a good thing to a certain extent uh, for the majority of you, but I feel as if with this bubble, you're trying to maintain a level of inner peace or bring it back. It's just like, with again, with the noise and um, a little bit of irritation, you may find that your sanctuary isn't very relaxing. You're just trying to stay within your own zone, do your own thing, while maybe hint to socialization, but it just feels like there's a focus on your um, center point, right? Your um, chakras in general, aligning oneself, glowing from the inside out. And how do you uh, plan to achieve just that? As I feel like there's somebody, certain energies or a situation that puts you on edge to a certain extent. I need to focus on what makes you feel at ease and move towards more of that. All right. All the meanwhile, just being reminded, you can find a better spot to make money if that's uh, key for you. I don't know why that keeps coming up. Ugh, I feel like people are just annoying. With the temperance card, it's the second half of the month where you're pushed to have patience. With other energies, situations, um, the stagnancy that feels very present. Again, it's touching base upon the Six of Swords in reverse. To remember, your pu the push to balance things out is key for you at this time, as you do have a lot of success and um, changes, adjustments on the horizon that will benefit you in a lot of ways. But being reminded all the meanwhile, you're um, being prepped to fly towards um, brighter days. It feels like you have a very angelic presence um, for the majority of the second half of the month. When the downloads come in, the synchronicities are present for you. Trust them. Embrace them. Learn from them. But don't overthink them, okay? It feels like you're getting a lot of downloads, to say the very least, from spirit about what lies ahead, about what you need to gain from where you're at at this point. Uh, at times needing to be reminded, maybe from somebody else universally, that you can stop, right? You can, you're a money-making machine in this month in general, especially in the second half, but it doesn't mean you can't give yourself that chance to rest. Um, at the top of your reading, we have the Four of Cups. Talking about at times you're not in the mood, fair enough, but it feels like you'll still push yourself to work or um, you'll just kind of put up a facade um, it feels like you're not in the mood to uh, relax, right? Wanting to be a busybody. Um, you at times need to recognize with certain opportunities, forms of abundance flowing in, needing to realize and recognize what's not meant for you moving forward. And may, that may even be in the form of where you're at, right? Um, Spirit in the universe reminding you and while the money flows in that it will continue to flow in in, in a different way, right? Uh, maybe even more so, more of it when you move towards something healthier for you, okay? And again, if it's more so uh, financial investment, you may be saving money all the meanwhile. But with the Ace of Wands, thinking thoroughly in a passionate way about a fresh new start, um, where to invest your money, where to once again make that moolah, <laughs> that moolah. With the Five of Cups, you're going to be pushed to laugh, to expect the best, when at times you want to expect the worst or you just feel as if um, it, it's a never-ending battle to... Um, achieve money flowing in, but you're a money-making machine, so just remember that that's going to continue 
but it needs to continue it in a positive manner to keep things optimistic all the meanwhile, all right? The Eight of Cups, again, being pushed to walk towards the sun, right? Being pushed to do what's right for Virgo. And all the meanwhile, the success and financial comfort will follow as you need to give birth to something new, okay? Period. Could be multiple situations. There's a true focus on um, birthing your own creation, your own life, um, following an ideal path for you, even if you fully don't recognize what that is. Feeling a little bit stressed about money or wanting to... Um, have a, an immense amount of financial comfort and savings built up and you will get there as you're reminded justice is on your side again to balance things out as you do a bit of reflecting on your situation um, on yourself on where you've come how much you've grown to keep things uh prideful uh, a healthy level of pride if you will as you do go through a lot of stress to a certain extent but you're reminded things are falling into place to keep that passion alive as you are a money-making machine, and you will be reminded at a certain point that you deserve to love what you do. You deserve to love where your money is invested, period. Don't let anybody convince you otherwise as you continue to make that money left and right and um, are encouraged to embrace change and um, keep that pride and strength alive, all right? So I hope this reading was truly helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Hoping you have an amazing rest of the month. Sending you so much love and light, and I'll see you next time. Bye, Virgo.